was there anything not shown? Like what stands out for you? Like the backstory? Cause this happened like, so, okay. When you got terminated or fired, let's just call it what it is. I've been fired from a hundred jobs. No shame. Right. They sh show that you slept in, you missed an alarm, you went swimming, all these things, which happened. Like what, like, was there any, like you said, there was backstory around some of that, that we didn't see like what was the most egregious thing where you're like, well, I did sleep in because I there's been people that have said like, I slept in, but I was told to sleep in or something like that. Like, was there anything like that? Or like, what was it that we didn't see that may have changed the backstory if there's specific things? Yeah, it just has to go with the whole sleeping in thing. Just like Eddie was off the boat because of production purposes, getting interviewed. So I had no contact with him. He gave me a list of tasks to complete. I completed the task. I asked James. He's like, yeah, you know, whatever. And then I was like, okay, I am absolutely exhausted. So I'm going to take a nap. And I took a nap for like an hour, hour and a half tops. Not what they portrayed to be as six hours. You know, so that's the backstory behind it. But 2020, I could have walked around. I could have act, asked all the interior crew if they need help. I could have asked Captain Lee if there's anything else I could do. And James told you, okay, it's fine to go to sleep. And Eddie was off doing an interview off the boat. I don't even remember what James really did. We were both just kind of like, at that point, it was like, there was so, there was so few things to do on deck that I just like, I was just like shamming rails. I'd shammy the same rail like 20 times. And I was like, this is like, <laughs> it's just getting old. I was like, there's nothing, not really like, I didn't know anything else to do there's no more tasks that I had at hand. Right. So when you were eventually called in by Eddie and Captain Lee, like, did you know it was coming? Like when you got the call, you're like, I'm walking to my demise here or even right before that, or even when you were in that room where you're just like, like at what point did you know this is really the end? Basically when I got called into the room, it was like Eddie and Captain Lee. And I guess from watching this show, it looks like Captain Lee wanted to be gone more than Eddie. I mean, this is how I watched it. I'm not, I mean, like, it was Captain Lee enjoying it. Like, you were there, not me. That's a yeah, legitimate no. question that I have. I mean, he was, he was smart to let me go. I think maybe Eddie was acting a little bit more on emotion to keep me there because, like, we were rooming together and, like, we were, we were friends, you know, like, we were buddies. And, uh, but Captain Lee just saw from like a superior standpoint that like I had, I was putting the boat at like at risk, you know, like I was, our whole deck crew was pretty inexperienced. Right. So you agree with this, with this decision? Yeah, As yes and no. I, I, I agree with it in the sense that I see why he was, why he let me go. But I also don't agree with it in the sense that, like, if I would have been there for the rest of the season, I really do think I would have became a great deckhand. And I was on the road to doing that. And Eddie actually came up to me the night before I got let go. And we were, we were, it was like one of the nights out. He came up to me. He's like, hey, dude, like, he's like, you're trying really hard. And I really appreciate it. And, like, I really do think that if you work super hard for this season, you could become the top deckhand. 